So I've been getting a lot of questions on uh, how to divide, design stencils in Adobe Photoshop. And uh, I'm going to do a little tutorial here on how to do multi-layer stencils using Photoshop. So I have my image here. It's uh, not the biggest size. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Oops. And I'm going to go to image size. And the resolution is 72 pixels for inches per inch now. So I'm going to change it to 300. And that's a nice big image that I can work with. Um, the next step you're going to want to do is separating out your image from your background. So I want to use this right control guy right here. So what I'm going to do is uh, duplicate my background layer so that there's the background and the background copy. And then what we want to do is just erase your background layer. You don't have to, but I like to just to uh, keep me from getting confused. You erase your background layer. And then, as you can see, if you turn the eyes off for the background, the uh, image itself is a separate layer. Now there's two ways to uh, cut out your image from your background. The, the easier method, but it's not as exact, is you can just take the erase tool and erase everywhere around the guy you don't want it. Um, that works great if you have a simple image, but it's not very exact. Uh, something I like to use that works a bit better is the magnetic lasso tool. And what this does is it creates a working path around the image that I can then cut it out with. And it can be kind of meticulous because you have to uh, go along the whole thing and slowly lay out your line. But the nice thing about this tool is that it will uh, jump and lay itself on any obvious lines. So for some images it may cut it out real easy, some you might have to do a little bit of clicking around. So now that I have uh, my image uh, totally lined out, I just go all the way around and you uh, click on your final point there and as you can see it's got a working path around the whole thing. So then you're just going to take the magnetic lasso and right click on the image and layer via cut. And what this does is it separates the image from its background. So they are two separate layers. And you can just go ahead and delete your background layer there. So now that I have my image all separated out here, and I have what I want to work with, I'm going to go to uh, Image, Adjustments, and then Desaturate. This makes the image completely black and white. And then now to really make the, uh, the stencil image itself, you go to Filters, Artistic, Cutout. And what the Cutout filter does is it separates your image into uh, just kind of almost like a paper cutout version but it, it's great for stenciling. You can uh, change the number of levels here. Um, I think I'm going to go with a four layer stencil. So that seems like the best. And you can change the edge simplicity so you can kind of get your image more detailed or less detailed. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with a little more detail. Looks good. So now that I have the image uh, cut out, I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and then Posterize. What Posterize does is it uh, literally breaks the image down into only a certain number of colors that you specify. The cutout filter does this a little bit, but it will still leave different shades. So what you want to do is use the Posterize setting to make sure it has a set number of colors. So I have four levels for four colors. Looks good. Okay. So when you're designing a stencil, uh, you have to remember that the, the paint is going to layer over each other. If you've seen in my videos, I start with the most dominant colors and then kind of work my way up. As you can see in this image, black is definitely the most dominant, so that's going to be my background color. The way you separate out the colors to make uh, layers is you go to Select, Color Range, and then you take your dropper here and you can select your different colors. And I'm going to start off with selecting black. And then once you have it selected, right click on the area and layer via cut. Now it's separated out from the other colors. And you're going to want to repeat this process for every single color. So now that the images, the layers are all separated out from each other, you can see that by clicking on the different eyes, it'll uh, pop them up. Now you want to make sure your more dominant layers are near the bottom and your less dominant layers near the top. So here I kind of have it reversed, so I'm going to want to put my black 
then my dark gray, then my light gray, and then my white. So that it layers going backwards. Now to really make actual stenciling layers, what you're going to want to do is fill in the area where uh, the other colors overlap. As you can see on the black layer, it's not completely solid. It has these cutouts where the other uh, colors are. So the way you fix that is you select your background, and then use the select option, color range, and then select your other colors. And then once you have the dark gray selector, or whatever color you want to use, you're going to take your brush tool and brush over the whole thing in black. Now as you can see it's not really making a difference on this layer but when I go back to my black layer the areas that were gray are now filled in. And you're going to want to repeat this process for every single color.